witnessed um, the signing of an MOU. What is that about? Uh, we signed an MOU with the um, Odioma community, okay. the brass. Um, they are the community where the brass fertilizer uh, plant is going to be sited. Um, we initially was to acquire the land. Um, after engaging the community, they said they wanted um, to be to participate in the plan. So, we offered them a free carry equity. In, oh, yeah. In so, uh, the community will own one and a half percent equity in the plan. This is the first time such um, a project will be carrying the community from scratch. Oh, so the community is investing. They are investing their land. land. For 1.5 percent equity in the plant, so. oh, as against what it would have been before now, where people would require investors to pay them some money, you cash, pay them money cash, and then or after begin a while, to fight. Absolutely. So we we gave them a point view of what the benefits will be. Now, if we are to buy the land at going into it shouldn't be more than uh, 10 million dollars okay. max. Uh, but the equity they are getting is about $35 million or more. One and a half percent of three and a half billion, so about $47 million. million. Did, did this start today or have you been on this process We've for been on this process for, we started actually in 2010. That was when we had the initial contact with the state. Um, but apparently the past government didn't feel maybe the decision period was beyond their scope. Um, it wasn't until, but because of the commitment we had uh, from some indigents of the state who uh, are in government, uh, they believed in the project, and believed in the project, so we had to continue pushing. Uh, and we thank God that we are here today. Uh, special uh, thanks to the present governor, whose team uh, understood the dynamics of the project. And in the past 18 months, like I said inside the hall. We've achieved more than we achieved in the two and a half years before his government came into power. It, did, what, did you specifically choose today, or was it just a coincidence that this? No, is we we chose today. What happened was that a whole lot of things had been going on, okay, um, and the community had been under pressure. It had been pressurizing us. In fact, this is the first time the community will be calling you on a daily basis. What's happened to the plant? What is happening to the plant? I hope you're not going to change your mind. I hope you're not moving out of this site. So. We now told them, okay, we will be in the state for this. Uh, we were supposed to sign a JVA with the state government also today. Okay. That's why we asked the government so that it will be a joint venture a joint agreement with the state and, and then, then an MOU with the community. With the community. Yes. But unfortunately, the state part will be done tomorrow. So I understand. And why the choice of Odioma? Why not Yenagua, for instance? Um, access. Because. Um, Fertilizer consumption in Nigeria is seasonal because we haven't started all year round agriculture. Okay, so you find out that you supply fertilizer to Nigeria for six months in the year or seven months in the year for five months, your plant will be producing and you have nothing to do with it. So that's why we had to, before we had looked around where we could find gas and access to the ocean. So, so. it's very challenging though because. It's a greenfield plant, no access road, no infrastructure, but we are staying the whole hog. Great. And um, usually raw material, it's, it's been used over time as the reason to why Nigerians are not going into production. What major raw material would you require to run the fertilizer plant? 99% gas. 99% gas, yes. and then what would be produced from 99% gas? We are going would to produce. To we are producing uh, ammonia, ammonic acid, okay. which will convert to urea. Okay. Uh, urea is the fertilizer you see. Yeah. Okay. Um, another train of the plant will be producing methanol. Okay. Uh, methanol is um, part of the industrial based chemical, which is being imported 100%. If you look at some of your plastics, uh, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, uh, industrial uh, pesticides and pesticides, all of them are made from even your perfume. 
is industrial alcohol. So there's a whole lot. Um, it will open up a whole lot of other chains of industries who will take this methanol and then break it down to other uses. Usually when you have a plant located in a community, the people are worried about the waste from that um, plant. How, how friendly, human friendly, will the waste be or otherwise? Well, we chose the 21st century technology. That's number one. Uh, we are paying more for it. The environmental impact assessment that we did conforms to world um, WHO standard, um, conforms with FDB standard, conforms with World Bank standard. So this is the main standard, global standard. So um, all that has been taken into account. So we need not worry. Absolutely not. So everything will no. be health friendly, environment friendly. Uh, absolutely. Fantastic. Now, um, this is going to be new and it's going to be located in a community, not urban, but really. Odioma is a small community and we're going to be having a huge plant there. Um, naturally, people will fight what they don't understand. What arrangements have you made to handle or to explain this to those who would not understand? What you're coming in this is part of what we have what we've done today by getting the community involved and taking them through the process of what this whole plant means so you're not just coming you acquire land the next day they see something going up they don't understand what you're doing so we've carried them along all the way to understand what exactly this plant represents and what are the benefits in that whole area they don't have pipe on water part of the uh, plants we are putting up for fresh water, uh, desalination plant. We are doubling the capacity of that desalination plant to be able to give water to the community. Okay? Um, we have a uh, 60 megawatt power plant embedded in the plant that will also give water to the community. We're also in collaboration with the state government to do about a thousand housing units. Okay? So the, the benefit is infinite. Um, Instead of people migrating from there, uh, you will see people now migrating backward home. Um, when we start building hotels. In Odioma. In Odioma, even in Brass, within the Brass town. Okay. Okay? That by next year, we'll be needing about two, three hundred rooms per night. So, so it opens up other investments. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have a power company that is going to come there. We have a GTL plant that is going to come there. We have a whole lot of people lining up once we get the gas processing plant done to open up the whole place. Congratulations and welcome to Bayern.